the wind is blowing very very hard um i forgot that we have a windstorm warning i heard about it on sunday i forgot about it and i was wondering why my lights were flickering in my apartment like why is it flickering it's the wind Alright, so I failed to get gas last night, so I have to get gas today. Whoa, the wind is blowing really, really hard. Oh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I have to get gas now. And I'm not happy about that. The wind is blowing so hard outside. It's, it's kind of calm now. It comes in gusts. I almost got blown away because I'm underneath this carport, this gas station carport, and the wind is blowing this way, but underneath it's blowing that way, so I'm like going everywhere. Okay, let's go to my first client. The north side was hit so hard. ginormous tree right in the middle of the road we all had to avoid. The sign's broken. Oh my gosh, I hope, I hope my parents are okay. I'm early for work. I'm always early for work. Every time the wind blows, I, I can feel my car, like, move. Um, I brought a book along. Um, I forgot... But I used to own this book, so mom, don't get mad at me. I actually bought this for, um, I don't know why I bought this. But it's Motley Crue, The Dirt. It's the autobiography of Motley Crue. And I've read so far, that's right, I've read so far, that the guitar player's father is a Baptist preacher who encouraged his son to continue his dream of being a guitarist for a band that has the pentagram. Why? It's in the garbage. And to prove that I will never pull it out again, I've got some leftover soup. My uh, dad wrote me. He asked me, did you lose power? I don't think I lost power. But then again... The lights were flickering when I left for work, so... That sucks. I hope my power is now. The wind's really blowing. My dad wrote me again and said that somebody on 67th Avenue got trapped in the house when a tree... when a tree fell on it. <gasps> that person just lost some of their shingles. Let me tell you something. A little fun fact for y'all to, to be able to uh, enjoy this weather with me. When shingles fall off a house, it's considered a EF1 tornado. So we can consider this weather an EF1 tornado, which is between uh, 65 and 100 miles an hour. But again, we are at the very tippy plateau of Spokane, so of course it's going to be more windier up here than it's going to be anywhere else. Now that I'm off the plateau, it's a lot less windy, but there are still branches everywhere. The streets look like a tornado went through it. Mine as well, right? Alright, so I am almost done with my day, possibly. Let's finish it. The winds have calmed down quite a bit since the last time I filmed. Um, I'm heading to Deer Park now. 
Deer Park. I wonder what damage they're dealing with because Deer Park is very flat and winds can exceed a lot in Deer Park. So let's move. The winds are a lot higher here in Deer Park and I'm just going all over the road. I'm, I'm going off the side, I'm going over on this side. It's bad. at the grocery store to get uh, food and the power is out at the grocery store which is beyond me because I thought they had a generator but I hope the power comes back on soon because uh, my perishables great lights are out of power. We treat it like a four-way stop. Alright. Are you guys ready to see if my apartment has power? And the power is on. I already knew because the TV was on. Hello, everybody. I am in quarantine for two weeks because I feel like I have symptoms of COVID. Um, it started as a migraine today, and now it's to achy joints, you know, and I feel under the weather. So, but that's not going to stop me from reading the Bible. Um, by the way, my, my, my migraine has condensed down to this little spot right here, so I'm not upset. Alright, let's read First Peter chapter 4. Let's begin. Um, or did I read chapter 4? Oh yeah, chapter 4. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin, that he no longer shall live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of God. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the wall, the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lasciviousness, lusts, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable adulteries, idolatries, wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them, <clears throat> to the same excess of riots, speaking of evil of you. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Uh, for, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. But the end of all things is at, is at hand, be ye therefore sober, and watch unto prayer. And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Use hospitality one to another without grudging. As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another, as good stewards to the manifold grace of God. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as of the ability which God giveth, that God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom be praise and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, 
as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the Spirit of glory and of God resteth upon you. On your part he is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evil doer, or as a busybody in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on, on his behalf. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous, excuse me, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinners appear? Wherefore let him that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as much. Where is the word much, Bethany? Sometimes I see words because I, I have I have a little bit of dyslexia. So I see something that isn't there. Or I get my words mixed up. Commit, okay, let's, let's go back to verse 19. Wherefore, let him that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. That was the end of chapter 4. I got a headache. It like goes down the side of my face like this. I said it was up here, but I just realized that it goes down into my, um, what do you call it? What, what is this? Nasal cavity? And my nose is kind of stuffed, which, because it's co uh, COVID season, I'm not taking any chances of going to work tomorrow. Um, and I understand that some people may think, wow, two weeks off from work, what are you going to do? Nothing. I'm going to be doing Nothing. I can't even grocery shop. I shop for a living. I, I guess I can order food on, on, on Amazon. I won't do that, though. I won't see my family. I won't do anything fun. I'll wake up, stay in this house, and go to bed. Oh, what am I going to do with myself? Uh, it's funny. I'm an A personality. I love to work. But I also love having vacation time. But vacation time also means, you know, doing what I want. And with someone who has ADHD, I'm going to be walking around, you know, through the kitchen, into the bathroom, into my bedroom, out again, around and around until I burn off energy. What am I going to do with myself? I'll be begging, please, let me come back. <laughs> I'm, I'm genuinely not looking forward to this. As great as it sounds, especially feeling like this, it doesn't help. Okay, I'll see you guys um, tomorrow. Oh, ooh, I do want to show you something, though. Okay, well, that, okay. Let me turn off the light. Ugh. Hang on. I'm going to pause this. Alright. This is not doing justice. But someone had put a giant bright light. I don't know what that is. But you see that patch of darkness? They, they don't have any power. That building has no power. Everyone else seems to have power. Oh, no. Not down there. That's out of power. And right, right about right here is a traffic light. Where's the traffic light? It's broken. <laughs> it's out of power. Okay, I'm done. Ooh, there's an airplane.